Hi, Chris Delgrove here with Reputation Sensei Academy. Today, we're gonna to discuss the top five things to consider when hiring a marketing company. So this conversation stems from a recent client engagement when we met with a new client and discovered that their previous agency had been taking advantage of the fact that they weren't well-versed in digital marketing. Trust me, this happens every day. This agency was overcharging them to the degree that, quite frankly, I was disgusted. I was disturbed because in our industry, there is zero regulation. You can really take advantage of nice people who are not well informed in the area of marketing. You can never do this in the insurance or financial services industry where they have regulations in place to protect people. So with that said, I want to point out five things that everyone should look for in choosing a new marketing agency. First and foremost, transparency. Transparency is key. This means you understand what services you're getting and how much they cost. If the company tells you to pay them one lump sum and they'll run ads with a certain portion going toward the budget, run. Don't stop. Don't collect $200. Run away as fast as you can. We believe that you should know exactly how much your management fees cost and how much budget you've allocated for ads being distributed online. You should know exactly how much each and every piece of your marketing is costing you and more importantly, producing for you. This brings us to number two, your agency needs to have a plan, a strategic plan. This begins with multiple meetings in the beginning between you and your agency in order to understand exactly what your goals and aspirations are and where you wanna go. Your one year, three year and five year vision should be clearly communicated to your agency so that all your marketing initiatives should be in complete alignment with your growth goals. If your agency isn't on the same page with your vision, it's gonna be very difficult for them to help you get there. There should also be regular meetings between you and your agency. Sometimes this is quarterly, and sometimes based on the size of your marketing initiative, could be monthly. The third thing you must look at is the agency's marketing team. So many agencies are now outsourcing their entire operation. And look, there's nothing wrong with outsourcing as long as the agency has a really strong core team that can manage those outside skill sets. But we have heard of entire operations being outsourced, and that is not in your best interest. You want a team that you can see and touch, especially your account manager. This is critical. Your account manager, or what we call in our agency, your success manager, is the most important role in the building. Why? Because they serve as a conduit between you, the client, and the agency team. They should understand your vision, your goals, and aspirations, and clearly know how to communicate this to the agency production team. Your success manager is the person in the agency that you'll meet with the most and provide feedback on what's working and not working. This is how you fine tune the program to achieve optimal results. Fourth thing to consider, reporting. Believe it or not, we've heard of horror stories where clients were spending tens of thousands of dollars and no reporting was being provided. How can you improve that which you do not measure? There's a saying by Carl Pearson, that which is measured improves, that which is measured and reported improves exponentially. I cut my teeth on selling marketing solutions to franchise car dealerships. This industry is really good at measuring results on a month to month basis. It's pretty cutthroat as well. There's a saying in the car business, you're only as good as your last month. So the point is performance can be adjusted with proper measurement tools and reporting is critical. Make sure you're getting detailed reporting on all your marketing initiatives. Last but certainly not least, credibility. When deciding on your next agency, this one is by far the absolute most important. How can you determine if you can trust what an agency is pitching you? How do you know if they're as good as they say they are? The answer is found in their current client list. Do they have case studies? Do they have video testimonials? Do they have Google or Facebook reviews? What are their current clients saying about the experience? Is this agency's clients talking about a return on investment, growing their customer accounts, increasing revenues? Do they mention customer support? If you want great insight into what happens after you sign up with the agency, go read the reviews, watch their video testimonials. You'll be completely informed. If they don't have any, there's a reason. If they only have references and no published testimonials, don't trust them. References are a waste of time. A company would never give you a bad reference. They will only give you people that will say good things about them. And for that reason, I don't like them. No public published reviews, run, don't walk away. Trust me, you want to do business with a company that has raving fans bragging about the agency and how much they love them. So to recap, make sure the agency is one that operates with complete transparency in their cost structure. You wanna make sure they have a strategic plan of action to help achieve your goals, make sure they have an impressive team and they provide you with regular meetings and reporting to track your progress. Lastly, do your due diligence, check them out, read their reviews, look at their case studies and watch their video testimonials. I hope this helps. Until next time, this is Chris Nelgrove signing off. Keep your success at five stars.